All right, I'm super excited for today's video because, you know, if you follow the channel, one of the things I like to talk about with these power stations is the design of these things, like like how they look and the aesthetics of them. So um, this is like super exciting. This this company, uh, Egratech, I think is how you say it. They got this new lineup of power stations, uh, their Sonic series, and this is actually um, right on their homepage on the Amazon website. And they've kind of had this teaser image up for, for a while. So I've kind of been aware that this was coming. And uh, so this is the day. T today's the day that um, basically you can get your hands on this, the, the smaller one here. So the models I'm going to be talking about are these, these two new ones here, the silver ones. They look like something uh, a little bit special, right, as far as the design goes. Now, well, I'm going to obviously dive deep into the design talk here in a second. But um, the other ones that you see kind of here in the background, the, all the black ones, the smaller ones, these are the ones that they've kind of been selling. So they're launching two of these products with this new design language. Um, the first one is the one we're going to be covering in this video, the, the 1200. And then they've also got a, a larger one, 2200. Um, this one is not available yet. And with both of these new products, they're keeping to that design philosophy of trying to keep these things as small and lightweight and just as portable as possible. And with the one we're taking a look at today, you can see it's, it's very compact and it only weighs about 21, 22 pounds, something like that. And this is about a thousand watt hours and we get a little bit, a little bit larger inverter, 1200 watt inverter. So that's just good. You're going to basically, you're not going to be able to do everything with that inverter, but you can still run quite a lot of things, especially if you, you kind of size your appliances appropriately, right? If you want to kind of use this for backup power or whatever, you can always get as far as cooking and stuff like that goes, you can always find stuff that will, that a 1200 watt inverter will definitely handle. Now, before we take a look at all the other specs, I really want to just kind of jump in and talk about the design on this thing, because this is just what's got me super excited about this thing. Take a look at this. This thing looks like it was designed by some kind of like Italian design firm or something, right? Now, they do mention this thing was inspired, especially the the gauge or the gauge display here it was kind of inspired by, you know, like a, a dashboard on a car. It's almost got a little bit of like a, a retro modern thing going on with it. And it just has like a real high end look to it. That's something you don't really expect to see in kind of these just, you know, typical mainstream power stations, right? And even just a, like the little bit of a chrome bezel that they have around the gauge display there. We get a, a light on the front, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, but it is a large light, right? So it's not going to be just like a little spotlight that's going to blind you. And, you know, everything is basically symmetrical laid out well and then we got the AC ports are on the side of the unit and we do get a nice flat top with the folding handle and there is actually a wireless charger on there as well and the screen on this thing's just like a super good design and basically they've crammed all the things that you want to see and all the things you want to know about into this little display yet it's not like overwhelming I kind of like how they have the uh, the input watts or the output watts and the time remaining, they kind of have those dedicated in these little circles, right? And then we get a nice large display, you know, for the percentage remaining right in the center. And this really nice kind of orange, it's got a really nice tone to it, right? Kind of like a softer orange color for the, uh, the battery bar, how much is remaining, something that you can just see, you know, from a distance, you just glance at. And then we get all of the, the little icons there and nice design on the icons as well. Nice attention to detail. You can definitely tell that's like a USB-A. And um, this, this one here is actually an XD60, you know, for when you're doing solar. Now we'll talk about the, the solar specs here in, in a second. Now, one thing that's really interesting that kind of caught my attention with this design is that they actually have all the cooling vents down here at the bottom and uh, the same thing on the other side. So this is interesting because, you know, um, basically most of these power stations, you know, they have the batteries down at the bottom and then they have the heat sinks and stuff like that up at the top. And, um, you know, I, generally I like to kind of see cooling vents down at the bottom as well because, you know, a lot of these companies, they don't actually try to cool the batteries down. So that's just always a good idea. But, um, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, you really need to have cooling for the, for the heat sinks and stuff like that. So I kind of wonder how they have the, the set up on the inside of this thing. They don't actually have any kind of exploded view. So I almost wonder if they're running like an inverted setup where they actually have the batteries at the top. And then the heat sinks at the bottom. This isn't unheard of. There, there's actually a few power stations out there, or there's there's one that I know of for sure. And I'm gonna actually make a video on that here at some point. It's actually a power station that I own, in fact. Um, so th so it, it it's not like a totally unknown concept, but it's just not the greatest idea since heat rises. You know, uh, you don't want to be kind of cooking the batteries. So I, yeah, I just kind of really wonder about the how the cooling is set up on this unit. 
So yeah, that might not be completely ideal, but um, you know, just take a look at this thing. It's such a beautiful design. Now talking about the charging specs here, um, we got a kind of a mixed bag. So the, the AC input is actually quite good and it is using a bi-directional inverter. So, you know, there's no power brick and we do get a thousand watts going into it, right? This is a thousand watt hour battery. So um, basically, well, they're saying, yeah, zero to 80% in one hour. And then to actually do the complete charge, it'll be about almost one and a half hours because you're going to slow that charge down to protect the battery, you know, which is a good idea. But yeah, I mean, still, you, you kind of only want to be charging 80% at, at any given time anyways. So now that this, this is kind of like the biggest disappointing thing, I just, it seems like these power station companies, they, they always kind of like, they always manage to kind of like drop the ball on something, right? So, um, so this is, this is the disappointing part. Now we do get MPPT, so that's good. But um, 200 watts is basically all they're saying that you can put into this thing. And they actually, again, they don't give the exact solar specs. I mean, these company, you, they need to put the exact solar specs on this thing. There's no, they don't talk about the voltage range or anything, but I'm going to just go ahead and assume since it's only 200 watts, I'm going to just go ahead and assume it's probably only somewhere around a max of 30 volts. And this is just extra disappointing because they're actually using an XT60 um, input on this thing for solar. So why are you using an XT60 and then having such a limited input spec on this thing? You know, XT60, you can pump in a lot of power with this, with a connection like that. And, and again, it's like you can do a thousand watts from the wall, <laughs> you know, like, like, why are we limiting it to 200 watts? Yeah, so, so disappointing on this, you know, I mean, I, I still really love this product because of how it looks. I'd love to just have this thing sitting on my desk or something, you know, but I mean, come on, just at least just give us like 400 watts of solar or something, you know? Yeah, so there it is. That's the new Agritech Sonic, uh, what are they even calling this thing? 1200 watt? Yeah, 1200 watt uh, Sonic. So basically, and, and the thing is too, I would actually recommend that they kind of make a new image for this. This is just, it doesn't, it doesn't make it look as good as, as it really does. You know, this is, it's probably just a computer rendering, but still, I don't know, something about the angle of this, this image. Um, they could definitely update that and make it, make it look a little bit better. But um, yeah, it's available now and they're actually giving you a pretty fat coupon on that as well, $300 off. So <laughs> something you might want to take a look at. And, um, and again, I'll kind of go back here and talk about this, <laughs> this other product that they have. Because now that I've seen this, I'm a little bit interested in this one as well for like a super small portable device. And then, of course, as, as we mentioned, um, you know, at some point in the future, I'll make a, a little listing review on this, the, the big one here, 2200 watt. So, so definitely something to keep your eye on something, especially if you just love like product design um, and just, you know, appreciate a beautiful product when you see it. So, um, so yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this video helpful or interesting and yeah, thanks for watching.